Ah, Jurassic World, a movie everyone's had one solid opinion on. And that, of course, is insert your opinion on Jurassic World here. And I'm sure I'll share that same opinion on this stupid Jurassic World bootleg. <laughs> All right, let's look at some Jurassic World knockoffs. Now you might think this was pretty quick, but it's not quite as quick as putting them out before the movie's even shown up, so zero stars. Oh, actually, it looks like this is for Jurassic World 3, so I guess they showed me. I don't know about this new T-Rex in the logo, though. I think people would prefer this. <laughs> Pretty sweet that this cartoony T-Rex logo is a combination of Jurassic World and Jurassic Park 3, though everyone's favorite in the series. The stimulation, sound and action. Look at that right there. That is stimulation, I tell ya. This is also apparently a smart game for kids. Uh, sweet, I can't wait to figure out how to play this game. I better not play with them too hard, though, because they're delicate dinosaur models. Don't touch the dinosaur! It's too delicate! They were also our ancient overlords. Our delicate ancient overlords. Uh, Triceratops, can you maybe put your eyes back in your head? You're giving me that bug eye thing. Sorry about the bug eye thing, I'll seek knowledge exploration. And there's the something Asur, which is actually its official name, so that's kind of weird. I'm sure I won't get a bunch of comments saying what it really is. And as long as we're going with official names, look, a couple brontosauruses on the back. Brontosauruses! Those were real! And we get another reminder that these are delicate. So our Jurassic World 3 Raptor here was put out by a company called Bastion. Never-ending story and such, let's move on. Bastion has made a bunch of other cheap toys and battery-operated animals, and oh, look, one of these looks a little familiar. That's right, it's the small cock? <laughs> Glad I didn't get that one. Seriously though, look, it doesn't even have cock on the box at all. Uh, well, at least they do have the correct cock on there. Sorta. I don't know what I'm saying. They also have this angry looking shitter that I guess we'll call the evil cock, which is love, by the way. Aw, and that's sweet. The T-Rex on the front of the box is letting us know we will have a good time. Delicately, our other Jurassic World knockoff is a little more subtle, though there is an English version of its package which calls it Dinosaur World. Huh. Dinosaur World. I can't imagine that would be a popular knockoff name. And this one was put out by a company called Ronkai. Looking into Ronkai, I found they have an entire dinosaur line, but the naming isn't very consistent because on their site they call it Dinosaur Century. And they've got some of your favorite dinosaurs like Brachiosaurus, Stegosaurus, T-Rex with a rifle, Bug-Eyed Triceratops, glad the actual toy looks just as goofy, and Three Heads Dragon, the very best dinosaur to let the children know the dinosaur dinosaur world with. Luckily, there are some more realistic dinosaurs like Two Heads Dragon or a gorilla, which was very inappropriately named Bush World. Let's just keep Big Cock away from Bush World. Oh, and you can also get a knockoff of the Toy Story T-Rex wearing a baseball cap. I know there was a high demand for that. Their site also got me really excited with this TV show button, only to immediately disappoint me with it being a lie. And unfortunately, this box neglects the bad English, so we can't have as much fun with this one. Though, at the very least, it does tell me it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. 
Though it has such a spiky head, I'd almost think it was the Indominus Rex from Jurassic World, though I'm sure any similarities are unintentional. There's also one thing particularly of note about this T-Rex's box. It's a piece of shit. So, one important thing for me to keep in mind before I put the batteries in is non-rechargeable batteries are not to be recharges. Also, I should probably not the polarity of the new battery so I don't screw this up. Well, out of the box, the T-Rex has a little assembly required, which will help a little with its balance, I'm sure. And unfortunately, the version of the T-Rex I got does not have that funky neon green highlighting underneath it. Oh, and this T-Rex has wheels on its feet. <laughs> a rollerblading T-Rex, that'll be the day. Quickly, everyone, to the skate park. Damn it, Beast Wars Megatron! And just like with the T-Rex, you gotta pop the raptor's tail on. I did it! What a smart game for kids! So let's power our QC Raptor up with three double A's. The T-Rex also takes three double A's, but oddly enough, the battery compartment is in the tail. Look at that face. Truly a majestic creature. The universe is for raptors now, Diddy! And just like in real life, dinosaurs did not have feathers, but in fact had purple detailing around their claws. Well, except for this guy, but as we know, he's highly inaccurate. So, which one do you guys want me to turn on first? Vote below in the comments, and in five weeks when I finish this video, oh, that's stupid, I'll turn the T-Rex on first. Well, I guess this guy's more accurate than I thought, because as we all know, in real life, T-Rexes did make the Godzilla noise. Well, I was thinking of having these guys uh, fight at some point, but seems they're getting a little close to each other here. <laughs> well, that's sweet. Dino love and all that. Ooh, rejected. Showing off silly battery functions is for Raptors now! <laughs> Well, they didn't have the same company name on their boxes, but what a coincidence that they both make the exact same sound, huh? But which Jurassic World knockoff does it better? Fight! This is why you two are extinct. Both of these dino dummies don't look too bad. The T-Rex probably has the cooler overall look, as the raptor can look a bit doofy at times. Also, it's got the one side that looks way better than the holy flip side. The T-Rex also has the screw holes on one side, but its coloring and texture makes them blend in much better. Interestingly though, the raptor actually has a sensor on the front for it to try and avoid walking straight into something, which is kinda neat. The T-Rex, however, just walks straight forward. They both look pretty cool lit up, but at this point, I'm a little disappointed when these things don't start playing an inappropriate stolen song. And the constant loop of the Godzilla roar gets old pretty quick. Especially the T-Rex's one, as it's way louder than the Raptor's. Even to the point of it being awkwardly loud just if you turn the speaker towards you while it's playing. Seven. Well, they are just dinosaurs, but they did get a little creative with the T-Rex's spiky design, though that might have had a certain influence. Also, you can get the greened-up version of the T-Rex, and the raptor's got purpley feet. 
3. Them replacing the skeletal T-Rex on the Jurassic Park slash World logo with that green cartoon T-Rex was an odd choice. Same with them leaving in that scratchy 3 from Jurassic Park 3, yet this trying to cash in on Jurassic World. I guess you're just supposed to go, huh, they got Jurassic World 3 merchandise out before they've even announced Jurassic World 2. Seems legit. And besides that, Raptor Face. They aren't the weirdest things, though the fact that T-Rex's line thinks dragons are dinosaurs is a bit off. Three. I'm gonna split these boxes scores here because there is a bit of a difference. The T-Rex has had a few variants with its English one having that classic welcome gifts line on it. But as for the box I actually have, it gave me pretty much nothing and then fell apart. One. The Raptors was much more enjoyable, with plenty of stupid phrases and it being called both delicate and a game. It also has a nice handle on top of it, so you can always take your Jurassic World knockoff Raptor on the go. And of course, it's apparently for Jurassic World 3. 8. They're both surprisingly pretty decent battery-operated dinosaur toys. I've seen much junkier dinosaur stuff than these. 8. And the Bootleg Zones overall is six. The Raptor had pretty funny packaging and they are both fairly solid dino toys. <laughs> It's my ultimate victory, a T-Rex riding a T-Rex riding a T-Rex riding a T-Rex. Oh yes indeed! Me overkill wonder if this is a bit of... overkill. Messing this up is for Raptors now! No! Oh no indeed! Well, well, that was anticlimactic. Yeah.